Well, Edmond told their parents in this letter they're protecting their accreditation by asking the state Supreme Court to get involved. They disagree with the decision that two of the books in their high school libraries are pornographic. But this fight is more about what they say is their right to decide what books are in their libraries. Edmund says they were given 14 days to remove the books, The Glass Castle and The Kite Runner, or show up to Thursday's State Board of Education meeting. The problem, the school district believes, is if they showed up, they could hurt their accreditation. So in addition to asking the Supreme Court for a ruling, they're asking for a stay on that decision too. They believe they're the ones who have the sole right to make these decisions with some input from parents. The State Department has ordered EPS to remove books from our libraries, which is not within their authority. Library books are highly protected. They are protected materials that the district has a long-standing policy for review of the materials in our libraries. No matter what this case leads and what is going on, this will not distract us from our mission of providing a high-quality education. And within the last 15 minutes, State Superintendent Ryan Walters taking to the social media platform X, calling out the district. Here's what he had to say. Edmund's going to continue to push a legacy that's uh, more in line with Hugh Hefner uh, and pushing pornography rather than being focused on academic excellence. The school's legal counsel tells us he doesn't know if they'll have to go to the meeting yet. They're hoping they'll hear a decision from the Supreme Court on that soon.